introduced to you because of this baby stack this idea emerged i've been tripping away at a way to explain what really happened in the 90s like how do we hone in on it how do we crystallize the very idea the, you know like what was some of the catalysts that made the 90s explode this is very broad but i've been trying to narrow it down to a couple of bullet points what the hell am i talking about well we will explain that Hi, Peter Ain't Deluca here, coming back from a little baby vacation, back to the channel, Peter Ain't Deluca here, aka Pad69, stay with me, known throughout Philadelphia, PA, Europe, and the vast multiverse as your, your hatless, eclectic one, no hat to that, I just said the hell with it, I said, yeah, so many of you people think I'm balding, so, you know, and, uh, you know, like, we got a little bit of the hairline cut in here, but we got, we got a lot of floof. I'm proud of it, guys. Rock and roll. So we got a little. I'm gonna show you for a little baby stack here. Okay, only a few books. Uh, one significant key connected to a run of books I was doing a year ago. I was floored to uh, get it for the price I got it at. Can't wait to read it. Can't wait to share it with you. The second is another idea I've been tripping away at, and I don't know why I didn't go all in. Now I'm going to be all in. I'm going to reveal that. And the third, see, look, look, you buy like four or five books and you get three significant videos out of it. That's, that's a YouTube comic book content creator for you. The third is a bullet point of the 90s. And I've been trying to narrow in on like the catalyst. Like how do we crystallize the catalyst of a lot of what happened around the 90s how do we hone in on it how do we bullet point it and what can we showcase that we really haven't seen before there's billions of hours of youtube uploaded every single minute and i'm looking for the things no one have or has discussed so we're going you know hey it involves the cringe father todd mcfarland so we're going to hit the arcades not the drawing table and I'm going to go through these books one by one. They're still going to be in their bags and boards. Short video today, but let's check it out. All right, AK Powers. I'm, I'm hoping you dig the Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition intro here. This is my favorite video game intro of this era. I just let this run all day. It's nothing but inspirational. I mean, look at these colors and the character design. Two perfect. So we only have four books. And we're going to get into the key. Here we go. The first modern day appearance of Dwayne The Rock Johnson's Black Adam. We got this for $5. Shazam 28. So roughly, uh, I'm not like a, con a condition grader, but this is like a $100 book. So, number two is, so, this is the idea I was saying that I should have been on top of way earlier. We're going to do original books, no matter if they have a cover, if the cover's ripping off or whatever. Uh, the further back, the better. Uh, I, I had an opportunity earlier this year to get a stack of coverless Jack Kirby's, and I passed on it. I told that individual, I, I just... Was interested and I didn't see much uh, much of a video in it. And I, I think I was wrong. We're going to be doing this. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I can get that stack still. So just be on the lookout. We're going to be doing just original prints, cover or no cover. It doesn't matter. And then here's the big idea. So we have Incredible Hulk. Uh, I overpaid for this. This is coverless. The cover is completely off of this book, but we paid five bucks. Uh, I felt bad because I, I caught them slipping on that on that Shazam book. But we have Incredible Hulk 333 and Incredible Hulk 332. What we're going to be doing is I'm going to lay it out for you guys. What, where Todd McFarlane transitioned from a regular 
consistent good artist to Todd McFarlane. Like this is the, the transition here. These are the two issues. Starting here, we get the style of McFarlane emerging into everything that we loved in Spider-Man and Spawn. 332, not so much. And these aren't even McFarlane covers, by the way. And this is the beginning of the McFarlane Hulk run. So I wanted to do something like this for Jim Lee, Wells Portacio, and Rob Liefeld, and Mark Silvestri. Mark Silvestri is a really tough one to hone in on. But, uh, yeah, I've been chipping away at it, like, as I said. So just be on the lookout. Well, guys, a little bit of a video preview here. Wanted to showcase these. Let me know what you think.